Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back inside the Vintage Geeks Toy Room! Yeah! So, uh, you know, you always see this in the background, but I don't know if I've ever showed it up close. So we're going to look at this little display up close. It's got my Scout Walkers, new and old, vintage and new, vintage and vintage collection, right? <laughs> and uh, my Ewoks, a couple of them need some hats. <clears throat> so update on the progress of our diseases. I think Dad's coming out of it. He's 13 days in. His cough is lightening up. My symptoms seem to be almost totally gone. I feel like I'm almost back to normal. I've been in it six or seven days. So I don't have any worry at all. And today we're going to look at Morn. Yeah. <laughs> He's got his action base, laser pistol, pyramid dice, gold press, platinum bars, and exotic beverage glass. You get a collectible card of Morn. That's all his gear. His gear is molded in orange. But yeah, I'm feeling a lot better today. I mean, it's it's like pretty much back to normal. I don't, I don't, I'm not really worried about anything at all. You know, it just did not affect our family that much. We must have the right genes. Benjamin Cisco, Quark, Major Kira, du Gold Ducat, Miles O'Brien, Odu, Jadzad, Odo. Sorry. Jadzia, Dax, Morn, and Bashir. You can get them all. Deep Space Nine station floats at the edge of charted space in an interstellar trading post for explorers traveling through the neighboring Bajoran wormhole. Starfleet struggles to refurbish Deep Space Nine, which has been abandoned by the Cardassians following their plunder of Bajor. The new Deep Space Nine crew faces the ultimate challenge to restore order, maintain peace in a restless region of space far from home and the security of Starfleet. <laughs> he has a laser pistol, standard defense weapon, toted by Moore and his comrades, pyramid dice, favorite gambling icon frequently used on Deep Space Nine promenade, gold press, latinum bars, most commonly used currency in the promenade's casino, Beverage glass, glass used to hold a variety of liquid concoctions. <laughs> like, like we wouldn't know that. And he has a stand. Subject Morn, species unknown male. Status Deep Space Nine visitor. Occupation, suspected mercenary. What? Resident profile. Morn is a member of an unknown intergalactic species. Little information is available on this mysterious hulking alien. He frequents the Promenade's casino is often seen gambling alongside his Ferengi friend Quark, a suspected mercenary as evidenced by his leathered battle fatigues. Morn, Morn's allegiances must be questioned at all times. Starfleet databases are lacking vital information on his species in general. This profile should be sporadically checked for updated data. Any confirmed or suspicious behavior should be part of his file. Station note, Morn has been identified exchanging laser weapons with Quark on the outer cargo bay. This is considered a security breach. Proceed with appropriate caution when encountering the alien. What? Morn is a Playmates product, like all Star Trek figures. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And don't forget, guys, this, uh, this, this counts as a thank you for 1,000 subscribers. Be sure to comment on this video or any video between now and April 1st, and you get your choice. If you if you win, you'll be, you'll be entered in a drawing, and the two people I draw get to choose between the Star Wars or the Transformers. So Morn's packaging is already open. And that's why I'm going to open this figure. And upon opening the figure, I found something which I have begun to realize is pretty common. The... The, the weapons and items are taped in and they stick to the tape like amazingly good. They are really stuck on there and sometimes leave a sticky residue that I have to wash off with um, soap and water. So Morn, here we go. Look at him. He looks awesome. And by the way, I'll put the rules. There's a, there's a link in the description below that'll go to the rules video for how to win the Star Wars and Transformers guys you'll be entered in a drawing if you comment on any video and two names will be drawn to win the win one wins the Star Wars and one name wins the Transformers Morton's pretty cool here 
I like him. He's a decent looking alien, you know. Here's his blaster. Looks like a uh, looks like a cobra. Looks like a cobra. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? And he's got a drinking glass. And there you go, square drinking glass. And he's got some dice, which clearly will not fit in his hands. So the dice is made for you and me, not for the character itself. And they're not to scale with the character at all. <laughs> he's not going to roll these giant dice. <laughs> we can, though. Ooh, we got a ookie and a bunk. Nice. Ookie and a bunk. Who's going to, I mean, who can beat that, right? Those are the symbols that are on the side, by the way. You know, I, I, yeah, they really are. Gold pressed latinum, a bar. It's a small bar, and this is a big bar. This must be a bar, and that must be a sliver. I don't know. What are you? I don't know what you call it. A, a what? They had bars of gold pressed latinum, and they had slates, right? I don't know. What was the other smaller one? I can't remember. But more as a base. Peg in his foot goes, or the hole in his foot goes on the peg that's on the base. There you go. That's how it works. And he stands up really nice on his base. It says Morn on it, which is pretty cool. Morn. He's got a card, the Morn card. Morn is just one of the infinite variety of alien species that make their way through the space station Deep Space Nine. An imposing character, Morn can often be found sleeping on the promenade, and he probably resides in the station itself. While we know a few details of his business dealings, we do know some of Morn's hobbies. Morn is almost always found in Quark's bar, sharpening his skills at the Dabo tables. Which, no, he isn't. You know, they've said that on the back of his card and this. I'm not sure if I've ever seen Morn playing Dabo. His head cannot move because of the chin. It moves just slightly. He does full rotation in the shoulders, has a bicep twist, elbow bend, and no other movement in the arms. There's no other twists except for that bicep. He does a good waist twist. He has leg full out forward. He can sit down and have some coffee, or he can sit down at the campfire, you know, and tell some stories about his travels. He can do a split, you know, so that's kind of cool. His knees bend pretty well. He's very, very good at doing that. But no other twist or movement in his leg. He should have had a twist in the in the uh, thigh there. That would have been cool. But that's it. That's for Morn. He's got a decent amount of, uh, you know, posability for a character his size and the age that he is. You know, he's got two holes on his feet and he's numbered for collectors. So, uh, you know, that was a thing, but no one really cared. <laughs> Everyone wanted to get under a thousand. And I remember I had a data when I was growing up that was under one thousand. It was like nine hundred and something, and uh, I ended up selling him at a convention for a ton of money. And oh, I feel bad now because he's probably worth nothing. Probably worth no more than any other figure. I don't think it matters what number they are. You know, I don't think anyone cares. And but back then. People did care, because they were looking, they were thinking these were going to be the hottest things in the world. And they weren't. Which is sad, because they are really, really cool. I mean, the figures, I think, are great. They're really detailed. They, they have great posability. I mean, the likenesses are pretty good for what the time period. I mean... As far as action figures go, these hit the mark. They're good for kids. I, I like them. I mean, look at this Cardassian. This is Gold Ducat. I also opened... Well, he basically fell apart. His packaging was so rotted away and so open that after I was... When I was moving him, he almost fell out of the packaging. So I just ripped it the rest of the way open. And I'm just going to... Instead of doing a full video, I'll give you a quick look at him here. But Gold Ducat is a very nice looking figure also. Which goes along with what I was just saying. These action figures are really, really good. I mean, the detailing, the style, the, the posability, everything about them is just it. It's classic action figure, you know, and and uh, it's what you want in an action figure. Even by today's standards, they're pretty good. 
I mean, I don't understand why more people are not collecting these. These are really nice figures. The packaging looks great. I mean, the accessories have a little bit to be desired, but because the colors mostly. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I really appreciate it, and I will talk to you all later. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you guys. Oh yeah, and see the link below in the description on how you can win these. Just comment on any video between now and April 1st, and we'll do a drawing. And anyone who's entered by commenting on a video will be put into a hat, and we'll draw two names to win the Transformers and the Star Wars. One will win the Star Wars, and one will win the Transformers. All right, guys, see you later. Thanks, bye.